Hello, I'm Drew Keller and I wanted to do another set of tutorials now that Pi Presents 1.3 is out. I did a few tutorials a while ago for 1.2 which you can also find on YouTube. Very quickly, what is Pi Presents? Of course, Pi Presents is like PowerPoint on steroids. It can be used to play images, videos, audio, and control the browser on the Raspberry Pi. But it can also do additional things because it can use the GPIO port of the Raspberry Pi to do things like read inputs from switches and can control motors for animatronics, LEDs, or other types of outputs. Ken Thompson has done a bunch of work on version 1.3. All of the shows have been considerably rewritten in order to make them more consistent and more flexible and to make playback smoother. He's calling the new version Gapless to give it a name rather than a version number. The installation is pretty much the same as 1.2. If you're starting from scratch, you would download a number of packages using apt-get. Then you would download pxpec separately. And then you would download pypresents from Ken's GitHub page. You can download it using wget if you want to use the command line or you can download it as a zip file, or if you have git, using git clone command. If you want to try it out, you can download the example profiles from their GitHub page as well, using the same kind of download options. One thing to be aware of, if you open a profile that was originally saved in PyPresents 1.2, if you open it in the editor for 1.3, the databases are a little bit different, so it will do a conversion, and it won't ask you before it does the conversion. And then after that, you won't be able to open it again in 1.2. So be sure to back up your profile before opening it in the editor. So it's actually different in 1.3. If we open up 1.2 here and 1.3 here, they look pretty similar. A little bigger window, but pretty similar. If we look at what shows are available, we'll see two new types of shows. Art Media Show and Art Live Show. So what are those? They make a, ga a gapless playback by preloading the next media track while a media track is already playing, so there's no delay. This is different from the Media Show or Live Media Show because those freeze the video on the last frame while the next media track is being loaded. So there's a short delay at the end of some media. The drawback to the gapless type of shows is there are a lot fewer options available. We can see that if we look at one of the examples here. Here's the art media show and if we look at one of the media shows it has a lot more options. Now what's missing here is basically art shows don't have triggering or child tracks or sub shows. Another thing in 1.3 is the shows were rewritten to be more consistent both in the code and in where options appear in their settings. So a number of fields have been moved so they appear under the same tabs for different types of shows. A feature that's still bleeding edge is OSC. What is OSC? That stands for Open Sound Control and it's a way for remote controlling pipe presents over Ethernet from another computer or a smart device like smartphone. An example of that is the show control example. You can see the OSC commands in the track settings. Now this is still very bleeding edge. There's actually no apps yet for Android or iPhone, but it should run from Windows, Linux, or another Raspberry Pi since the controller is written for Python. So that's a pretty basic overview of Pi Presents 1.3.